Andreas Antonopoulos is talking about Bitcoin way back in 2016, and he's saying how Bitcoin is going to change the global monetary system and why you need Bitcoin. Check out the clip. Bitcoin is internet money. It's a system of money that exists on the internet, uh, was created on the internet, and it allows you to send and receive value the, the same way you can send and receive an email anywhere in the world, instantaneously, without intermediaries. Um, and that's kind of what you see at first glance. Behind that, it's a whole platform. It is, as the title of the book says, the internet of money. It is... It is a set of protocols that allow you to uh, basically exchange value with other people. But you can do a lot more with it. Than with that, what's happening, Crypto Cruise? Sean's coming back at you. Another cryptocurrency video. Got a jam-packed video, so we're getting straight into it. Our first update coming in from Seth underscore Finn. Looking at this chart, what do we see? What do we anticipate? You see these are four-year cycles. The first year is always red. That's the bear market. Then you have the second year where you're basing out third and fourth year getting extremely parabolic. First year is red, rinse, repeat. We had that red year here. The second year has been green. Now look at the third and fourth year. Each time there's a major move to the upside. So Bitcoin and cryptocurrency could be getting ready to gear up going into 2024 and 2025. This is definitely a setup where you should have been dollar cost averaging in all this bear cycle because the fireworks are about to pop off another update from crypto rover we are at the beginning stage of the bitcoin bull market and what he's showing you here is the mvrv z score and what this is showing is every time this mvrv z score the orange part of this chart here goes below into the green area below and then flips to the upside every single time that's what denotes up and to the right over the next two years every single time up and to the right over the next two years one two up and to the right look what happened over the next two years we could be getting ready to see new all-time highs sooner rather than later and an update from Dylan Leclerc what's he showing you he's showing you all the market is melting but pay close attention look at all the pairs ETH Bitcoin, BNB Bitcoin, XRP Bitcoin, Cardano Bitcoin, Dogecoin Bitcoin, so on and so forth. Everything is bleeding against Bitcoin. And we've showed you this time and time again. We've showed you this chart here. We've showed you the Bitcoin dominance. And we've showed you that we based out, we fell off a cliff. This was, an ultimate, this was a big alt rally here. We based out and then started to stair step in our way up out the depths. And Bitcoin has been respecting this macro support line here. Right now, at the current time is recording, Bitcoin dominance is at 51.2%. And we could be getting up near 60 when it's all said and done. You have to pay attention to what's going on because there's a time to hold Bitcoin and there's a time to hold alts. Look at this Fibonacci retracement here. We see that Bitcoin comes up and hits the 0.618 level perfectly. So if we look here and we pull from the bottom of this to the previous peak and we see where this 0.618 level actually resides at, this resides at roughly the 58.45% level about right here. So it could be Bitcoin coming up and hitting its head on this downwards resistance line we've had drawn this for a long time before this turns over breaks this macro support flips it to resistance and has this fall down this could be the next alt rally but right now is not that time and benjamin cohen has called this out too so shout out to him the 0.618 level he's seen as well also take a look ethereum holders you guys don't like what's going on well, this is exit liquidity. Every time Ethereum went from proof of work to proof of stake, it's just been melting down. And we've been telling you this. We actually looked at this chart right here, and we've showed you this in previous videos. You can look back. The 200 moving average, this blue line, and the 20 moving average, these are the lines you got to pay attention to when you look at price action. When the 20 moving average crosses from the bottom to the top of the 200 moving average, that's bullish for the price action. And these lines act as oscillators. Every time they're far apart, which right here, they were far apart here, they want to come back together. And then the price action follows. So look, this is a far apart area here. So look here, here's another far apart area. You can almost just pull this up. It wasn't as far as before, but 
you get the picture. The lines are far apart and they want to come back together. So look what happens. We're about to have this cross. This is a bearish cross. The same way this blasted up to the upside, this could fall off a cliff as these two lines converge. So could we see a lower ETH Bitcoin comparative, lower than 5.7%? Yes, we could. We could come down even lower to the 3 4% level or lower. We have to be patient, wait and see. But if we pull out our Fibonacci extension levels to see how high we actually went based off of previous highs, we can see, okay, we pull this from the bottom here, which is around the 1.7% to the peak, which is up to that 14.7%. This is way back in 2017. We came up to this 0.5 level almost perfectly. So how far are we going to fall before we ultimately have this base out? Because we can, once we fall below this 200 moving average, this is a major support line, we're going to see more downwards price action. So you got to be patient. And right now, this is exhaustion. We haven't got past that 0.5 level. We're just putting in lower lows and lower highs. This is get this price action is getting exhausted. So could we just fall through this and have a catapult down to lower levels? That definitely could be in the cards. So another update, looking at Carl from the moon, he's showing you on the macro scale that Bitcoin is in a bull run and what can we anticipate? Look at this huge cup and handle formation that ultimately was that 2021 bull market. Well, look what's happening right now in this bear market. Looks like another cup and handle formation is playing out. So if you look at the charts and see what we see, you can see that this cup and handle formation from 2018 to 2021 is right here is what he found. We already pulled this down from the, the handle to the bottom. And you can see that this actually almost went up perfectly up to the previous all time highs. Now we do the same thing. One thing to note, it's a lot different. It's not what you expect. So look at here. We can see that this goes up to roughly the $65,000 previous all-time high. So could Bitcoin be putting in a triple top? And are we going to put in new highs? Mm, that's something to pay attention to. But if you look at the extensions and see you know, how high we should be going, we went up to the 3.618 level almost perfectly. So if we pull this down to see what Bitcoin's going to be doing here, um, if we do go up to that 3.618 level, that takes up to $190,000. So is Bitcoin going to go that high? Or are we going to just have that technical target from that cup and handle formation that's playing out right here? And then another update. We'll leave you with this before a little clip we want you to check out. Where are we at in the cycle? You can look at the Wall Street cheat sheet, the psychology of the market. Right now, we are currently in the depression phase. And as we showed you here, everything's melting against Bitcoin. So your alt bags are melting. This is the depression phase. So what happens? We stair step our way out of this until we get that relief rally, which is disbelief, and then have a meltdown going into the halving. Rinse, repeat, and then we have that blast off after the halving. So this is where we're at. Pay attention. This is the last phase before the big Bitcoin bull run. Without further ado, let's hear what Max Kaiser has to say about adoption and what's going on in the crypto space. Let's hear from Max. That Bitcoin adoption is multifaceted in terms of the way one looks at it. Everyone in El Salvador is aware of Bitcoin. And when you become aware of Bitcoin, it's the first step toward adoption. You know, you uh, don't change Bitcoin. Bitcoin changes you. And when you start to think about Bitcoin, the consequences of Bitcoin, what it means philosophically, what it means ethically and morally, and why is the president talking about it? You, you, you have, you're adopting Bitcoin in the way that you think, uh, which is the step toward using it in your day-to-day -day life. The population in El Salvador is, is primed to hear that message. Obviously, in other countries like Argentina, in other countries now that are going through extreme duress, uh, they're also primed to hear this message for obvious reasons. But it's a mistake, in my view, to say, well, 5% or 6% or 7% of the country is actually using Bitcoin on a day-to-day -day basis. That's not adoption to me. I mean, the adoption is uh, everyone I meet, first of all, they say, look at me and go, Bitcoin! Uh, and that's everywhere in the country. So everywhere in the country, people know Bitcoin and they're reading about it. And this is, the, this is adoption. This is adoption in my book. And it, it's, the, and it's the step forward.